Hello everybody out there in the video world, this is Dan with another movie review for you. This time it's uh, Justice League. It stars uh, Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, and Gal Gadot, who reprise their roles as uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. It's joined by The Flash, a uh, different version of The Flash, and Cyborg. It's rated PG-13 for uh, action, violence, and some language. This movie was number one at the weekend uh, for $94 million. Unfortunately, it was roughly $300 million to make budget-wise. Uh, so on to my opinion, which several of you have uh, asked about. I went into this movie with low expectations. I had read some things and obviously heard some things already with the departure of Zack Snyder back in the day. Didn't know what to expect. Joseph Whedon taking over was a great idea. Love Joseph Whedon and all the Marvel stuff he's done. Huge fan of Marvel. Um, so... DC has always struggled to make a quality movie. This is not a bad movie. It's not a great movie, uh, especially if you're a huge comic book fan, you're probably not going to like it. There are some questions, big questions, that were not answered for me uh, based on the kind of comic book fan I am. Uh, I know I'm not a great one, but there are just a lot of questions. The acting was not terrible. I was not a fan of The Flash's character. He just seemed more like a coward to me. Didn't really add much other than some comic relief. Uh, the, the back and forth between Ben Affleck and Gal Gadot was actually fairly good. I loved Cyborg's character. He had a dry wit about him. He was always serious. He was afraid of what he could actually do because what is being done to him just kept evolving into something else. And he couldn't keep track of it. So he was always serious. It was a great character. The first half of the movie didn't do it for me at all. I wasn't surprised by how bad I thought it was going to be. Then it definitely picked up. But once the keynote, and I'm not going to give it away, once the key point of the movie happened, from that point on, it was pretty uh, pretty bad. Pre I mean, pretty bad as in, like, badass. Like, awesome. I'm not going to give it two thumbs up. I'm actually going to go with a th uh, half a thumb. CGI was too much. Uh, at the end, they're just, they threw CGI left and right. Superman actually looked CGI. Like, it actually didn't look like Henry Cavill at all. It looked like they CGI'd his face and the body onto somebody else. Like, it was just, it was bad. Uh, stay for the clips at the end. There are two clips, funny clip and a serious clip. I will tell you a little bit of a spoiler. Justice League originally uh, was about seven heroes that came together to form the Justice League. Well, they still don't have seven. Didn't see seven. Uh, there's actually a trailer clip in the movie where Alfred actually talks to somebody. Uh, you can presume it's either Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter. Um, you don't see that clip, first of all, in the movie. They cut it. And second of all, you don't see the seventh person. So you have no idea who that is. You could assume, based on some clips in the movie, that it could be Green Lantern. But you just don't know. And we probably won't know uh, until they make a second one, which they did set up for. I'm guessing the villain in the second one would be Darkseid. But uh, according to IMDb, they are not slated to start filming. They don't even have a full cast yet. So who knows exactly what's going to happen. And since they didn't make a whole lot of money their first week domestically, who knows if the second one is even going to be made. So, again, half thumbs up. Go see it. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time at the movies.